Hello everybody, this is Barry Knight, coming to you guys with a Age of Petty Kings 3.0. Admiral Thrawn, the director and leader and all that commander stuff of the mod, hath brought another point out. There was 2.0 a few, like, literally like a month or month and a half ago, and then he came out with another one, and I was planning on doing a series for the 2.0 version, but then 3.0 was coming out, like, Okay, gotta wait. Gotta hold myself back. Oh my gosh, it was so hard. So hard to hold myself back. But, I finally digress. We're gonna be playing as the Boltons today. I would've played something a little more in the central, centralized area, but I'm in a... In a, uh... What is it called? Oh yes, a hot seat right now is uh, House Bracken. And I'm about to get my ass handed to by House Mutant and House Darkline because they want to kill me, but that's besides the point. You guys don't care about that unless it's up on the channel and it's not going to be there, so don't worry about it. But that's my reasoning why I'm not doing that. I was going to do Aaron or Royce, but meh. I just figured they had less enemies. So we're going to be doing Bolton because they have many more enemies, much more territory to conquer. And there's a lot of new stuff to actually show you guys. If you just stay tuned for a few more seconds, I can show you. <laughs> but if you don't want to see it, you might as well go try it for yourself. Alright, so... Expand your realm, other factions, armies will be incorporated. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. The Lion of Winterfell. Oh, sorry guys. I was checking out the map earlier, because I was... <laughs> I was looking at everything, I was so excited, I was a fanboy. <laughs> oh my god, this is here, that's there! <gasps> ah! But yeah, anyways. Yep, King Eddard took in the... Lion of Lannister, the young one. So, we're gonna look at what we've got for the family tree so far. We've got... Roderick, the King of the Dreadfort. His son... Domrind? Domrind? Okay. <laughs> Domrind. John and Harlan. So that would be John. That would be Domrind. And that would be Harlan. And then our king is there, of course. Oh, are these guys... Oh, they're axe throwers. Yeah, they're axe throwers. I don't know if they fixed the... The kind of a glitch that they have, but... These guys don't actually throw axes. I was kind of hoping they would. But, uh, yeah, they don't. Well, it's, it's spears. They might have fixed it. I don't know. But we don't have swordsmen anymore. Or if we did in the previous versions, I don't know. I never played Bolton much. Anyways, look at all these things. We actually have buildings to build. They added all these different kinds of buildings in the mod. There's the Hinterland Outriders, which you can upgrade to get more public order, and also later on you can get some riders. You can get a Castle Garrison, which gives you more public order, or levies, depending on which ones you want to build first. And then Siege Works, we actually can build siege weapons now, we can break down the fucking walls. We don't have to do it all manually, it's great. And then Hunting Rights, I thought this was pretty interesting, because the lords gave some of their rights up in the forests so peasants could hunt. Which means the merchants and the other lords don't like that. But in the end, it's actually a good strategy for getting better archers. And there's the Hinterland Maester, which gives you better public order. Hinterland Settlement, or it's pretty much little farmsteads or villages. Just increases your farm production and eventually gives you tradable goods and happiness. Inns, same thing as they always are. Except, oh, they give you tradable goods. And happiness, but nothing else yet. Hopefully he'll add assassins and spies sometime. That'd be awesome. Heart tree, you know the drill. Faces on it, scares the shit out of you. Just a little bit. Alright, so that's kind of an overview of what we've got, what's new with the mod. So I'm going to be building the Siege Works because we're going to need to break down those walls fast. They did add mines as well, but 
they're a little overpriced for me to invest in those off the bat. Oh, I did want to mention that the garrisons, I believe that you can have these and they will be effective. Like in regions, if you haven't completely crushed any other faction, like you haven't extinguished their very existence, then uh, you will be able to pretty much recruit a few levies to hold that region versus not being able to hold anything at all. I mean, not being able to recruit anything at all. Excuse me. Alright, so we do have a few things to get done today. Now we kind of worry about who we're going to attack first, majorly. We're going to want to take the Sisterton Islands. Sisterland, Sisterton... I, somebody tell me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but I'll worry about that later. But yes, we're going to need to move up north against the Starks to gain more land and territory, get some more money. Definitely want some more cavalry. The campaign with red wine is just going in my head like, dude, you ne I never had enough cavalry in that campaign. Never, ever, ever. It was just sad. Sad times all around. Alright, so what we've got are the umbars. Can I build a watchtower? No. <laughs> Just gonna cry. Oh yeah, we do have new uh, mercenary tags. What well, pictures are? I, I don't know if they rebal. Uh, they might have rebalanced everything, mercenary wise. But they did add the Night's Watch and the Wildlings to this version in 2.0. They had the Night's Watch, but just no Wildlings, and the Watch was just kind of. I believe it's just one settlement, so it wasn't really that awesome, but. Now it's awesome because it's got that, and we also have Skagos. There's a couple uh, settlements over there we're gonna go grab. Okay. Harlan and his skin weavers. Skin weavers. Wearers. As you can tell, I'm very lacking on sleep right now. It's actually kind of fun. You should try it sometime. Got about three hours of sleep and I've gone more than 12 hours on that. I'm pretty proud of myself. So I'm guessing you can't build watchtowers at all. Good thing I've got plenty of generals. Alright, we're gonna marshal our forces next turn. And then after that we're pretty much gonna be in the races for the north. Let's blitz this north. Long haul. Okay. Oh yeah. I also wanted to mention that they did have an ancillary for every single settlement. Every single settlement. Lord of Amberton. Lord of the Dreadfort. Lord yeah, you get the idea. A lot of Lord stuff. It's really cool. I, my liege. I, my liege. Oh, I didn't have a. I didn't have enough money. Duh. Did not have enough money. I, now I have enough I, money. Let's no get the hell out of Dodge. Okay, man. We will march with I, <laughs> a 63-year-old. We march with. No, we're not gonna march with him. Alright, move with Hornwood, and uh, Hornwood's fine for now. Prince, the Prince, we need you to move. Uh, you know what, let's just have you over there. Dora Amber, I almost thought it said Umbar, like, you're a traitor to your people, thank you. It's like, no, I do not betray my people. We are giants with a different name. You just don't know us. Okay, boy, you're gonna stay while we go out and fight. Like men. The men of the mountain. 
Okay, well, that seems to be pretty good for us. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna be going in debt very fast, very quickly. So we're going to need to make a break for the north. The northern north, not our north, the northern north. <laughs> north. North. Okay, we're gonna make a break for it. Make a break. Come on, guys, let's go. Not past it, though, but that's fine. I'm just moving too fast for the game to realize what's happening, so... You know, that's, that's fine. That is fine with me. As long as one of us wins, that's all that matters. Alright, we're gonna eradicate this first army here. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Yep, we're going in. Don't take any chances in this one. I'm pretty sure there's a sub mod that has the uh, better chances for the AI to not be dumb, so... I'm gonna give every shot I got at this. No, I'm, I'm really not that afraid that I'm gonna lose. There's probably no chance on earth I'm gonna lose this battle, but... For the battles in the future that are more difficult and have many more men for the attackers, which won't be us at the time. And I am saving us for that statement later on. Oh, sweet. Oh wow, my stakes are in the wrong direction. Actually, why did I even put stakes? They don't even have any cavalry. Alright, whatever. Men. Time to march. The time is now. The time to serve your lord and liege. For no reason other than to kill our brethren in the north. But sire, why would you do such a thing? Kill our brethren? Isn't that technically, you know, bad for the country and for the whole north? Do, won't we hate each other in the future, Westeros? Pfft, what are you talking about? I don't know, maybe a war for the five kings? What do you mean five kings? There's never been five kings. It's always been us. Us and no one else. We are the dreadful kings of the north. Everyone shall dread us and be in fear. Trying to be cheeky little bastards, aren't you? Well, I see past your cheekiness, and I'm going to rush right in like an idiot. That rock's gonna save a few of them. Defend the rock, man! Defend the rock! Alright, here we go. Oh, what? What the f- You can't do that! That's bullshit. You had to set up your fucking stakes before the fight. Did you see that? That was total- Hmm. That was gonna be a great charge right there, man. That was just- Everybody saw that. The AI has major hacks. They got some good shots off on us, though. Man, that was good. I can't believe that. Look at the skins and everything. Oh, man, this is just awesome. How many times can I say the phrase, all oh, man? In a... <laughs> I don't know. But I'll keep trying to say it as many times as I can before you're all annoyed. Okay. Well, I'm glad our cavalry isn't breaking as fast as it could be. Oh, shit. Guys. You're supposed to be on top of this thing. Oh, 
Oh, but they left their archers wide open. Going in for the kill. Nope, nope, back off, back off. Steaks are dangerous. Didn't show up parents tell you not to eat steak with a knife. Exactly, I thought so. I thought so. Oh, man. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Use those lovely bodyguard powers. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Yeah, there's no chance you would flank me. Not even not even a remote chance. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay. Less speaking, more thinking. Man, those guys aren't breaking. Breaks, sons of bitches, break. Well, if they're not gonna break like this, then we're gonna need to break them anyways. Fools. Fool of a took. Oh, and if you haven't noticed the skins, the skins are very much different than they used to be. And I very much like them. Not the general! Don't shoot the general! Fools! Not supposed to shoot the general. The general's the leading man of the army. Are they seriously just letting us shoot them? <laughs> Frickin' hey, yeah. Let's just keep this up. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. Alright. Well, that's pretty much a wrap on the battle. And there goes the general. A good old Captain Edwile. Eh, we're pretty much done here. Yep, we're done here. All of Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here today. So, under 100, pretty darn good. I will take that. I'll take that pretty much any day. Especially on a three hour. Sleep day. I'll take that. <laughs> Note to self, never again stay up until 5 in the morning playing a game. Never. Unless it's really, really intense and you like it and it's awesome. Like, yeah. That'd be the reasons. Okay. Seeing as we have superior cavalry, I would say we could win this. Unless he has no cavalry, I don't think he'll attack us. We'll have to wait until he comes out of his uh, castle. Or we could just ransack the damn place now. Well, even if I added Wolfield with Locke their infantry army is very lacking and they each have one crossbow unit which isn't enough to overwhelm their archers so I'm gonna leave Locke on his own here we're gonna continue on to conquer other lands and in the meantime as lands are being conquered we're going to get some damn money for those lands yes you're gonna become Commanding officer. Aye, my liege. My king. Aye. 
And there is another holdout. Riders and archers and everything. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. Just, just attack. Just gonna stop thinking about it. Just attack him. All right, Hothar Bloodback. Oh, he bought some free riders. Nice boy. Okay. Lord's on bar, and you yourself going against me with cavalry and some pikemen, dude. Bring it on. For the glory of the realm, I will attack you and win the glory of the realm. <laughs> if the glory of the realm was a trophy, I am I'm gonna win that trophy. I'm gonna mount it on my fireplace. I'll look at it every night and I'm gonna go, wow. I won that. I won that. Through sheer determination, I won that. And I'll be so happy when I win that. So these light cav are gonna be shit. I'm just gonna, just gotta assume it's gonna be crappy now. Be surprised if it fails you later. Have these spearmen in the back. Just gonna defend these uh, good old throwers. Am I? Uh, diamond shaped defense formation because it's awesome and you're all jealous so that's my reasoning yeah you're all jealous of my diamond shape the best protection around you can't break through these guys are the safest men in all of Westeros right now <clears throat> well they got the axe the axes on them to look right now before in 2.0 it just had uh, spears but I wonder if they fixed the mechanic of the throwing to me all you'd have to do is just uh, take the mechanic of throwing from uh, third age the dwarf axe throwers so you just take them and like copy paste it but I don't know if it's that simple I'm thinking it is but I'm not exactly sure Come to me, my pretties. Come. Come and taste the might of my arcane magics. Called axes. Our axes will blot out the sun. <laughs> and your... Calvary will die from our pikes. What a foolish lot. Oh yeah, see there's still spears. Never mind. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Alright, men, alright. Um, don't waver, don't don't fall over your pants. Or yeah, just stay with me, men. Okay, alright, defend these fools. Yeah, stay back. These are my fools. Fools. Oh no. Yeah, let's just let's just get rid of these fools. We're all fools when it comes to the Game of Thrones. Oh please, oh please, oh gosh. Yes, we're gonna make it, okay. No problem. You fools of all us fools will die first. Oh man, they're just getting slaughtered. Why not do anything about it? Okay, man. Oh shit, oh shit, we're gonna get... Either way, we're gonna get smashed in the middle there.
Come on, axe throwers, why don't you throw your damn axes? Alright, so now we need to close the iron clasp upon our enemies. Rain them in and f make them feel the terror being captured by the Dread King. The Dread King who's so dreadful that he has so much blood all over him. He just likes bathing in other people's blood, I guess. Can we just rename him the Blood King? After all, he's named uh, like something Bloodback, so seems almost fitting. I can lose some men here, man. Dude, don't don't do it. Oh sh no 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 my king, my king, not yours, mine, mine. <laughs> He's not for you to finish off. Stay back. How's that other army going? Yeah, finish that guy off. Come on. It's taking you long enough. Jeez, guys. And the Dread King just wants to get in on all that action. When there's actually very little left. Fighting till the end. The 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 enemy general has no nice job, man. The field of and abandons his men. Dude. Well, I guess you could call him Bloodback. They didn't call him Bloodback for nothing. For the Bloodback, fought till the end. The field. After the, cut the down. Oh, did we get the other one? Yes. Oh, and we're gonna get the rest of the cap too, just because. Yeah. Lol. All of Christendom will be in all <laughs> They're just like, I can make it! I can make it home! <laughs> no! There's too many! Dead. I'd say that's pretty good for men lost, honestly. If I hadn't let them hammer an anvil that one levy unit, we probably would have kept it under 300 casualties. But I didn't think that far ahead. Man, they actually killed a lot of us. When it comes down to it. But we did take out two of their best... Well, one of their bestest generals. The Bloodback, the feared, the known, the scariest man alive. But he was replaced by the Blood King. That's my new nickname for him now. He's the Blood King. The King of Dread and Blood. Ooh, that's good. If you guys have any uh, different names... For our king, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I would be so happy to learn what you all think. Because our king is so dread dreadfully awesome. Plus he's going to sit on the bridge, because it's his bridge. And we're almost done with our siege works. But yeah, we're going to leave it right there, you guys. So if you enjoyed the video, let me know down below. Make sure to let me know an extra name for Roderick, the Dread King or the Blood Dreaded King. Anyways, thank you all. I'll talk to you next time. Take it easy. Bear night out.